All right, guys, so in this video, what I would like to do is continue making our navigation bar. And what I was actually going to do is I was just going to add each item to the bar as we need it. But then I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and design this entire thing. And even though we don't have an add album section or a song section, we'll just make those dead links right now and we'll just link them to the proper sections whenever we make them. So I figured as long as we're in here, might as well just go ahead and design everything. So I'm going to copy this and paste in everything I need. And all right, so we already know what this is. This is just bootstrap. And this is just a link to our static file, our CSS file. Now these other ones are just really easy. These are just external files, kind of like bootstrap that I'm included. This one is just for the font. You see this cursive font, um, and that is from Google. So if you go to Google fonts, go ahead and check out all their fonts. They're actually awesome and they're all free. So you can use them on your website. And this one and this one, these are just jQuery and Bootstrap's JavaScript file. So Bootstrap actually is not only a design framework, it actually comes with some cool functionality. And the reason that I'm including this is because our menu, just like this one, is gonna have a bunch of items, albums, songs, this form, add album logout. And a cool part about Bootstrap is you can actually set it up where if your website actually gets too small like this, actually it works better on mine. So if we have a bunch of items in, we're looking at this on a device that doesn't have room to display all those items, then instead it's just going to make a little icon where you can click it and a menu appears with all the items on there. So usually that would be a pain in the butt to design writing all the JavaScript for it. But that's one cool thing about Bootstrap. It already comes with that functionality. So yeah, that's what all those files are. And also, I'm also going to change this from navbar default to navbar inverse. So if I refresh this, you guys can see it just pretty much just changes the color to a dark theme rather than a light theme. Because if I just have everything like a shade of light gray, I think it'll look a little bit weird. All right. So navbar header. So right now we just have our logo in there which looks all right, but we actually need to add one other thing to this, and this is that conditional button. So again, this is the button that's actually gonna appear if the device doesn't have room to display all of our items. It's gonna turn into a menu instead. So let me just get that, and all right. So this button is just gonna be a type button, who would have guessed, and the class for this is actually navbar toggle and again these classes aren't classes that we have to write ourselves these all came with bootstrap if you want to know more about bootstrap i made another tutorial series about it but there you go so this data toggle is just collapse in the data target you're going to set this equal to and this actually doesn't even matter this name but mine is top nav bar so basically all of your items in here such as album songs you're going to surround it in a container and i just am going to name my container top nav bar and that way it knows all right whenever you click this button it's supposed to toggle those or make them visible or invisible all bootstrap stuff and now some weird thing about bootstrap you actually need to make let me show you this all right so you know in Google Chrome, it has this little hamburger icon and it has three lines, boom, boom, boom. And also like an Android, and I'm pretty sure iPhone has it too, this button with three lines. Well, for some reason in Bootstrap, you have to make every line on that button individually. I have no idea why they made it that way, but whatever. All right, so the class is icon bar. I don't know, I guess some people only wanted one line on it. So if you only want one line on it, then just go ahead and do that but i want three lines on mine like a normal human being so there you go and i don't know if it'll even pop up now since we don't have any items all right so check it out so what we're doing is whenever our screen gets too small it displays this button and whenever we expand it and it has room for all of them that button disappears and later on once we have items in our navigation menu whenever we click this it's going to display those but we don't already, so 
or not right now, so that's why nothing happens. So that little section is taken care of, boom roasted, and let me change this to the header. Since it's not only the logo anymore, it includes those buttons. So now right under this, I start making those individual items. All right, so what do we have on our menu? This albums button, a songs button, and a form. So this entire thing is a search form. And then we have two buttons off to the right, an add album and a log out button. So I actually wanna put those in the div. And this div is just gonna have the class of collapse, navbar, collapse. So this little section that's gonna hold all of our navigation items is gonna be collapsible. So that's what's gonna be hidden unless we click that button on smaller screens. So let's go ahead and add those two buttons first. And to add those, we just make an unordered list. And the class of this is nav, nav bar, nav. And now we just make our list items. So the first one is the album and how am I going to do this right now? I know that they aren't actually going to work right now. So later on, we're going to have a class, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys about that later. All right. So basically inside every single list item, what I'm going to have is a link. And this one can just link to the home page. So we can just copy that. Now inside this first one, I'm just going to have span class glyph icon and then glyph icon CD. All right, so this is just the icon for this CD little icon, the record icon. And the next one is called glyph icon music and that's this little music note in case you guys wanted to know. So there's that and you also need to make area hidden true. All right, icon looking good. All right, now I actually wanna add another space and I probably should do this through CSS, but the reason I wanna do this is because if I didn't, then I just thought the icon and albums, uh, the text were a little bit close together. So I don't know, just personal preference. But now I just wanna add albums. And I think everything should look good, so. All right, so you see this is our brand, our logo, and then this is the albums button. And we can actually just copy this to make it really simple. So copy this entire list item. And let me condense that a little bit. So copy this and paste it right under. Now, of course, this next one isn't going to link to the same place. So we'll just make it a dead link and worry about that later. And the glyph icon for this is music. Now instead of albums, I'm just going to have songs and check it out. Albums and songs. Now another thing I want to mention real quick is you know this list item class that I said, ah, oh, don't worry about this later. The reason I said that is because whenever we set this to active, look what happens. The item that we are currently selecting or kind of viewing is lit up. So the background is a little bit darker and also the text in the icon is white. Now, the reason I say don't just include it is because later on, I'm gonna show you guys a cool way where it's pretty much gonna rec recognize what page you're on and it's gonna say, okay, have active here or there. Now, just so, to make sure that you guys don't forget it, you might wanna just put it in there right now, but that's basically what we're doing.